What's going on guys? So lately I've been seeing a lot of these pH water tests circulating on the internet and I figured since I'm a huge water drinker myself, why not try it out? All right, so we have our tap water, we have 15 types of bottled water, and then we also have water that's filtered from the pump. I bought this water testing kit at a pool store and we're gonna be using these red pH drops based on what color the water turns in the cup um, on this chart will be the deciding factor of whether the water is acidic or more towards neutral alkaline, aka basic. I also want to be as precise as possible with this, so I measured out the water in these plastic cups, and for each cup I'm not just going to put random amounts of drops in there, I'm actually going to put seven drops in each cup. Alright, so all the drops are in and here's the results. And this scale goes from a 6.8 to 8.2. Um, for those of you that don't know, the pH scale actually goes from 0 to 14. So this at least gives us a good idea of whether it is, like I said, acidic, um, alkaline, or basic, neutral. Um, and so the more red it is, the more alkaline it's going to be, the more yellow it is, the more acidic it's going to be. And then the ones that are orange are pretty much neutral. So what I'm going to do now is group together the water that's alkaline, talk about it really quick, then group together the water that's neutral, and then the acidic water. So I'm not making this video to talk trash about any of these companies or you know try to tell you or persuade you which water you should buy which water you shouldn't buy but what I am trying to do is make you guys aware that at the end of the day the most important thing is that you're drinking plenty of water so a lot of people I saw in the comments when they saw these pH videos they would say you know oh my gosh I'm never buying uh, Aquafina again I'd stay away from that water for the rest of my life or forget Voss it's complete trash I can't believe they're putting this water out there and like I said, the most important thing is that you are drinking enough water. The other thing I really want to make you guys aware of here is that the most expensive water is definitely not always the best. So I will go to the extent of telling you guys which water I would say is not worth the money. If you like the taste of that water more than the other, uh, then go for it. Okay, so out of the 17 waters we tested, these five came out alkaline. The first one is straight from our tap. The core water is advertised as being an alkaline water, which actually has a pH of approximately 7.4, and that turned out to be true. The next one is Arrowhead, which is on the lower price end. The fourth one being Fiji is on the higher price end. And the last one, the black charcoal water, is advertised as being alkaline, which turned out to be true as well. Next up are the five waters that turned out to be neutral. So the first one is water geared towards infants and costs 99 cents a gallon. The second one is Nestle, which is in a lower price range. The third one is Voss, and this is one of the more popular and pricey waters. The fourth one is a 7-Eleven water, which is advertised as having a pH of 9.5 and higher, and that turned out to be false. The pH was actually around 7.5. The last one um, is boxed water, and that also turned out to be neutral. The last group is the water that turned out to be acidic. These seven all have a pH of 6.5 or lower. The first one is Aquafina, which is owned by Pepsi. The second is Deja Blue. The third one is a local water here in Southern California, which advertises as having a pH between 8 and 9, and that turned out to be false and actually has a pH of 5. The fourth being Niagara, which is from the dollar store. The fifth is Dasani, which is the second highest selling water in the US. The sixth is Smart Water, and last is filtered water from our pump. Okay, so to wrap up this video, I'm gonna leave you guys with a few fun facts to kind of give you a better idea of what the whole pH thing is even about. So one, your stomach's acid is actually at around a pH of one to two, which is super acidic. And with that being said, regardless of whether you're drinking alkaline water that has a pH of 10 or 11, or you're drinking acidic water that has a pH of say four or five, once it hits the stomach, the stomach adjusts to whatever it is, and so therefore, at that point, it doesn't affect your body in any different way 
Two, so there's been plenty of studies that have shown drinking alkaline water can actually help you absorb vitamins and minerals a little bit easier. But on the contrary, there's also been studies that have shown that when you drink too much alkaline water, what happens is your stomach produces a lot of acid more than it usually would. And with that, you start having acid reflux, you start getting heartburn, and if you're prone to that, it might be a little more serious. Three, 99% of the time, the water that comes out of your home, so even if it's straight from the kitchen sink, is actually gonna be just as good, if not better, than all these bottled waters. So next time you go to grab bottled water, really think about, you know, one, the environment, and two, you saving all that money, because bottled water can end up costing you a lot in the long run, so think about it. And the fourth fact, is, it's a little more unfortunate than fun, but the fourth fact is that not all advertising is accurate, and it's sad because especially in the food industry and supplement industry, they have, the companies have really good ways of twisting words and actually false advertising and not ever getting in trouble for it. So just like these two last waters I have out here in the middle, the left one is advertised as being alkaline, around eight or nine, and like I was saying earlier, it's actually acidic. And then this other 7-Eleven alkaline water is also advertised to be uh, above nine and a half, and it's neutral, which is around a seven. So know what you're putting in your body, know what you're buying and paying for, because these guys hike up their prices just because of their labels at this point. And so the more you know, the better off you'll be. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.